Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 117 in the Sudoku problem series. This is a diagonal Sudoku um, submitted by Wisteria Fall, and thank you for sending it through. Um, so the way this works is you must place the digits in the cells marked with an X. They're all that's needed to solve this one. Um, and along the indicated diagonals, um, you cannot have any repeated digits. Um, and with that, the um, cells, the digits with the cells marked with an X, bad, do 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 uh, are solvable. So um, there's a link below to where you can find a copy of this grid um, and um, I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can attempt this one for yourself and then when you unpause the video I will be back to explain how this one works. Okay I found this one a little bit tricky and it took me a few minutes to find the, the way through. So the first thing we want to look at is the diagonal. So we've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven on it. So these must be eight and nine. And then there's a few things we want to note. So the first thing is we, I looked at um, noticed in box nine and there's a couple of issues. First of all, one must appear in one of these cells. Um, and then I kind of ran out. So these are uh, one, two, and nine. Um, and you cannot put one here. So I, I then was sort of figuring out what the heck can I do here? And then I looked at what are the possibilities for this cell. And it can't be one, two, three, four, five, or um, seven or eight. So this can only be six or nine. And then I looked up here and I went, hang on a minute, this is also restricted. One, two, it can be, uh, one, can't be one, two, three, four, six, seven, or eight. So this is only five or nine. So those are heavily restricted. And then I realized, hang on, there's a couple of diagonal tricks going on. So because nine must appear in one of those two cells, this cannot be a nine, because if this was a nine, then um, we would not be able to put nine in either of those two cells, and both of those would have to be an eight, because nine, um, both of those two cells see this. So nine has to be in one of those two, and then I realized there's a trick going on with nines. So what happens if this is a nine? So if this is a nine, this becomes an eight, but in box nine, nine is forced down to be here, which knocks nine out of there, and we don't have a nine on the diagonal. So this can't be a nine, because if we put a nine here, the, um, the fact that this becomes eight, we can't put a nine here, and because nine goes down here, we can't put a nine here. So this has to be the six. And the same trick is happening up here. It's all forced by this being very restricted on the nines. If this is a nine, this becomes an eight, but because this is a nine, this becomes a nine for, to put a nine in box nine, and this becomes an eight, and we've got two eights on the diagonal. So this can't be a nine, this becomes a five. And I was like, okay, so what do I do here? And I looked at it, and this is just a, a very hidden naked single. It can't be one because of the pointing ones. It can't be two. It can't be three. It can't be five. It can't be seven. It can't be um, or eight. So this is literally down to four or nine, but the same nine trick is playing. Because if I put nine here, this becomes eight. Nine goes here, this becomes eight, and I've broken the diagonal. So this has to be the four, and that's the solution to the problem. It's all down to the fact that the the because you can't the restriction on the nine because of the shape of box nine and the digit where nine has to go is all putting the pressure on. This is actually I'm listing this one as hard because if you don't actually see that geometry, you're not going to get through it. Um, I again, I think a lot of people might look at this one and go, "Oh, this is actually fairly easy or a medium." Um, but I think if you're a new solver and you come across this one, you may actually find this one quite tricky. So listing this one is hard. I think is perfectly valid. Um, so I, I, again, I would prefer people to find them easier than listed rather than having a newer solver come along and feel disheartened and um, when they're trying to learn from the series. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series and as always, good luck with your solving.